What's good people, so in this video I want to talk to you about selling ebooks on Etsy, now how I've done it um, and how you can do the same and expand your ebook selling business online. Now I've been fortunate enough to make over $179,000 selling digital products online including ebooks and in my spare time I now teach dads and other hustlers how to do the same. So if you're interested in learning more about how to sell ebooks and how I do it, uh, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe so that you can be updated with more content. So let's dive in. So when you're selling ebooks online, one of the biggest tips, tricks and techniques that I would advise is to be everywhere. You have to be everywhere. You have to be on all platforms. And Etsy is one of the platforms that you need to be in. Now, it took me a while to actually take my own advice and actually get on Etsy. But once I did, I started to get a sale. I recently got a sale. So, um, um, I'm going to start expanding out, uploading more ebooks onto Etsy, and I'm going to show you exactly how to upload your ebook on Etsy and the best practices to follow, right? Uh, based on my research and based on me and how I got my first sale. So, this was my first sale here. It's called Big Fiverr Funds. It's an ebook that I wrote. It's to help um, people that want to freelance on Fiverr how to you know set up their account how to do all of that good stuff and start earning from it right I was again I've been fortunate fortunate enough to earn over a hundred K freelancing on Fiverr so I wrote a book about it so I'm assuming that you've got your book written okay that's first step once you have got your book written I'm going to show you how to upload it to Etsy so what you do is this is the Etsy page you can see the sale that I got here I only sold it and trialed it for free three dollars three pounds and the sale came in right um, so what I'm going to do is I've got an ebook that I'm going to upload. So what you do is you go to listings, okay, and then you're going to go up here called add a listing, right? And then it's going to be the photo section. So what I do is I go to add a photo and then I go to the folder. So this is my photo that I'm selling, right? It's called how to sell beats using email marketing. So my background is in music production and this is a ebook on how to sell beats like music producers nowadays sell beats online right so i uh, again been fortunate enough to make a good income from selling beats because my background is in music production so um you know uh so i'm, I'm teaching others how to do the same there as well like i said i'm the hustle from home kid right i do a lot of hustles i've got a lot of side hustles i'm such an experiment i try everything right i'm open to everything so that's how i've been able to build this channel and gain experience that I can show you guys anyway moving forward um this yeah so this is it's uploading the photos I would upload some other photos as well just to keep things simple um upload any kind of angle of your ebook the front the back maybe give them a sample page whatever then you go down to this adjust the thumbnail bit here this is what they're going to see once the size of the image shows like this so it's a little box right so you want to decide what to show them really you want to show them the title or any kind of nice little images you got you can zoom in like that and that looks nice right it's clear concise let's move on sell more beats using email marketing right now you can go to the video section and upload a video if you've got one either a video that is you doing the talking about the product or maybe it's like a you know um one that you've got done on fiverr you can upload it there i don't have a video um so i'm not going to upload it next is going to be the listing title now what you want to do is when it comes to listing your title you want to obviously list the name of your book but you want to do it in a clever way right so you go to ebooks go to i mean go to the etsy homepage, and then what you want to do is you want to search for other books in your niche right so for example i'm selling e i'm selling uh um an ebook for producers right so sell beats i'm going to type sell beats and see what comes up right nothing comes up okay nothing comes up it like this auto the auto field doesn't come nothing comes up and if i type amazon you see how much how many things come up amazon fba how many things come up too right so if even if i put selling on amazon right nothing there nothing there okay so these this is going to give you an idea of what is actually on the platform 
okay and you want to sell things and you want to put things in your title that people are already searching so that when they search for it you're going to show up you don't want to call and title your ebook something that no one is searching because we live in a, a keyword based world a search based world google youtube etsy ebay these are all things that people search they search for specific items your item needs to show up when they're searching for it right so um email marketing if i type email marketing look how many things come up versus sell beats online so i know in my title i need to have something saying email marketing early as well email marketing early not at the end i want it to be early because as you can see here the title gets cut off after the first six or seven words, the title gets cut off. So if I put email marketing at the end of the title, there's a chance that one, I won't show up or for two, no one's going to like um, the person that's searching for it won't see email marketing and they won't think that my book is, is, is for email marketing. Right. So I need to put that early. OK, I need to put that early. Another thing I want to put is music producers. OK, that comes up here. Let's see what it searches for. Music production, stuff like that. Right. Let's see what else. Selling beats. Okay, there's a couple. There's a couple bits and pieces, right? So we know we want to go email marketing heavy first. So that's gonna give me some. I've done a little bit of research, right? So email marketing for music producers, right? And then I'll go and put a dash, and now I will name my my um call it my product right so my book is called how to sell beats with email marketing okay so i'll copy and paste that and then i will enter that in right at the end here done okay email marketing for music producers how to sell beats with email marketing the ultimate guide easy peasy right so i'm going to show up for email marketing i'm going to show up for music producers and i could also show up for how to sell beats perfect right next is about this listing who made it i did right there's a couple of options a member of my shop or another company or person obviously i made it so you're going to want to select you you made it is it a finished product yes it is when did you make it i recently made it which is going to be uh recently so 2020 to 2023 and then we move on now the category section if you click it it's usually going to give you um some some options that you can choose from obviously mine's an ebook it says here um books guides how to that's what mine is right so i'll leave that there primary color it's not got a color and then we go down to renewal options now what etsy does is every time like you have a you have a sell through period i believe it's for uh um, a few months for four months right so they will give you the option to sell the product for four months and then after that there's a renewal free of 20 cents or 20 pence depending on the country you're in okay so you need to bear this in mind so they'll, they're going to sell it for you for, for uh, four months and then every four months there's a renewal fee okay which is only 20 cents so that's fine so i always set that to automatic so they can automatically just take that out the description um is 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 basically you just want to uh you want to you want to use jasper okay i don't have access to jasper on this computer but i would use jasper and i would basically like if i go to amazon i've listed this book this book on amazon already right so if i do like that okay if you need access to here's my beat right here how to sell beats okay um if I go down here, you can see I've already created a description right here. If you need a description created for your book, I highly recommend you use Jasper AI. That is how I created this um, this description for my book. Jasper, you can get a thousand or two thousand words for free. Just click the link in my description box to sign up with my link, and you'll get two thousand words for free. I love Jasper. Again, it's like it's like Chat GPT, but it's more user friendly. So you just literally tell jasper what you want your ebook to be about and tell it to write you an ebook description and it will write you a perfect one right so if we copy and paste that here think email marketing is dead wrong in fact email market is more alive than ever especially when it comes to selling beats yada 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 okay so we scroll down we keep it moving add a new production partner this is not relevant if you created the ebook your ebook with someone else and you're looking to sell it then you guys can split the fees right you can split every sale so you would enter them in there next is the tags so i'll type email marketing as a tag um you know we'll type sell beats 
online so you just want to type little phrases that you think your customer will be searching for on the platform right um email marketing for producers okay what else can i do no more than 20 character for music musicians okay all right how how to sell beats yeah like that you can add as many let out you know you can add as many up to 10 20 uh, it actually says 13 tags total i've added three so i've got 10 left um we can do uh we could do email we could do marketing we could do music producer sell beats uh, make money off beats okay and this said add as many as you can right there materials obviously <clears throat> materials is not relevant to us that's selling ebooks so that's fine price now two things that you can do with price simple it's dead simple you go into the market and you look at what other people are selling their ebooks for and you say okay cool let me come in right let me come in with the similar price that they are doing and then once you've built up reputation and you've got a lot of sales for your ebook probably like 10 20 30 sales start to steadily increase the price by 50 cents or 50 pence until you get to a point where you see a reduction in sales and then that's your sweet spot okay come in come in with the same price that everyone else is selling for and then slowly increase the price based on demand and based on how you know credibility and what people are buying it for so i'm gonna go ahead and set mine for 7.99 okay and leave it like that once i start getting a few sales what it will start to sell once it starts to sell i'll keep increasing it maybe every week or so until i hit the sweet spot right um quantity i just always put 10 here i put 10 on the last book so i'll do that um skew you don't need a skew that's fine domestic and global pricing doesn't apply to us because we're selling ebooks which is a digital product we are not selling uh we are not selling you know handmade items and stuff like that variations again there's no variation to this book personalization there is no personalization to this book so we can ignore that and then it's going to come down to delivery free now delivery does not apply to us because we are shipping digital products so if you want to go back up here and there is a uh, what uh, there's a part called type here is it a physical product which is a tangible item that you deliver to the buyers or digital products the digital file you need to select we forgot to select that earlier so go back up a digital file file that buyers will download now this is going to change this section down here and allow you to upload the digital file whereas before it was showing us shipping options now it's aware that we're not selling a digital products right i mean sorry now it's aware that we're not selling a physical product we're selling a digital product so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get my PDF, okay? I'm gonna go in and get my PDF, open it up, and this is the ebook right here, okay? Let's make sure, double check, bam, 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 cool, 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 yada, 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 right? So we're gonna take that file and we're gonna upload it to, we're gonna take that file and upload it okay your file name must be da, 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 da. okay so we just need to make it a little bit more smaller the file name so if we rename sell beats with email marketing and we take away the ultimate guide just to make it fit and now it should be okay now it's going to upload okay so that is the file that they're going to get when they download this product now what i like to do as well i like to um, under promise but over deliver that's a term that we use in sales which basically means tell someone that you're going to give them one thing but when they buy it they actually get two okay if they're going to be pleasantly surprised they're going to think oh wow this guy's giving me more than i've actually bargained for and for free it's going to increase repeat custom right so what i always do is i always give them two instead of one i tell them they're going to get one thing but I actually give them two so if we go back over here to downloads and I go to sell ebooks because I've got another, I've got something else that I sell as well, which is connected to ebooks, um, sell beats online. I'm gonna go to that file and I'm actually gonna give them another book, right? I'm gonna give them two books for the price of one, okay? So we upload that and now they're gonna get two books instead of the one, but they are none the wiser, right? So 
it's just a nice little sweetened deal and that's that's what those little things tips those little things like that is what's allowed me to make 179,000 dollars selling ebooks online it's those little things right always under promise but over deliver so in terms of if you go to next returns and exchanges there's no returns and exchanges because again they can't exchange the ebook it's a digital product marketing want to promote this listing on etsy as part of your etsy campaign yes let's advertise this listing now it's going to take me over to the advertising part which i'll speak about in the next video but for the most part to upload your video um, to upload your ebook onto Etsy. This is how I do it, and this is what's gotten me my first sale, and this is what's going to continue uh, to blow this this uh, this 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 store up and keep selling a ton of ebooks, right? So I got my first sale, and I now just been uploading all of my ebooks, a ton of ebooks, to get them sold. So make sure you do the same. If that makes sense, give this video a like, a subscribe. Remember, it's your boy Hustle from Home Dad, teaching dads how to hustle from home so that you can spend less time with your boss and more time with your wife and kids. If you want to sign up to my newsletter, you can sign up. The link is in the description box below. Turn on your notifications so you can be uploaded, uh, updated, sorry, with, you know, a ton of my videos on selling ebooks and how to market them and yada, yada, yada. I wish you nothing but love and success. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to turn on the Etsy ads to increase our invisibility and your awareness to get more sales, right? It's going to be a tough job getting sales without advertising, right? And I'm going to show you the best practices on how to do that. So let's jump in. Before I do that though, I'm just going to hit publish so you can see what comes up next. Hit publish, right? And there you go. It's been done. I'll see you in the next video.